Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, when we last left off, I actually have no idea where we last left off, because I've completely just forgotten about what exactly I was I was doing. I'm pretty sure I've leveled up, like, my drive forms, but that was like, that basically took up the rest of, like, my day yesterday, so... Anyways... Today I just did another live stream with LT and that basically got me excited because now I'm going over here to the Pride Lands Part 2. But before we get to that, I just want to say that it looks like we're heading into the third act of the game and I really hope that I'm prepared for it and, well, <laughs> I just don't really know what I have to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have the final pages for Pooh, so I'll definitely head back there like once... Actually, no, I wanted to... <laughs> now I remember. I wanted to do this before going to the Pride Lands. I am a big, dumb doofy doof for the memory of a goldfish. Eh, that actually kind of scares me because, like, I know that basically, like, from how my grandfather is, like, Alzheimer's and dementia actually is genetically linked to my family, so... <laughs> my father had some interesting words to say if that ever happened to him. Shoot me. <laughs> Uh, the thing about it is, I actually think of my sisters, like, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't hesitate to, so... <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> anyway... I'm in, uh, somewhat of an elated mood at the moment, because, um... Uh... Let me ask you guys something. Have you guys ever watched a live stream or a playthrough of a game that you know really well, that you really enjoy, that you're basically an expert at? that the people playing at really suck at playing, and because of their own weakness at not being able to adapt to this game's playstyle, they somehow blame the game instead of themselves. They hold the game to blame for supposedly bad design for them not being able to beat it. And I'm just basically like thinking, yeah, that basically like always kind of ticks me off because it's basically like, no, the game doesn't suck, you suck at it. Because I'm literally watching these guys go through it. They are making so many mistakes when it comes to these mistakes. Rookie mistakes, but the problem is I can tell that they've played this game before because some of them actually do know what they're doing, but they don't know everything because despite how much they know, they keep making mistakes and it's like, guys, this is literally a case of get good, so get friggin' good! <laughs> get friggin' good and stop blaming the game for your mistakes. Anyway, so, like, literally speaking, a few minutes ago, one of them just said, and I quote, Everybody who defends this game, I hate you. Because, like, he made the mistake of falling off of a friggin' platform because he's not paying attention where the game is tossing him after, like, a long flight scene. So it's basically like... It kind of makes me elated, because as irritating as it is to watch this and listen to them, like, complain about how bad this game supposedly is, it makes me realize that no matter how bad I was at Kingdom Hearts, no matter how bad I was at Rechain of Memories, or Birth by Sleep, or even this game, I am still leagues above these scrubs. <laughs> it's like, I would literally have to, like, lose, I think, about seven... 70 IQ points to basically be as bad as these scrubs. So, and yeah, basically they're doing this stream for like a charity or whatnot, and I'm, and that's basically like alright, but it literally has nothing to do with them sucking at video games, because it's like, you would think that basically people who use video games to run a charity for like, I don't know, on a children's hospital or whatnot, you'd think they'd actually be good at playing video games, but these guys, I mean, Maybe that's why people are donating money to them, to see how badly they they actually play this. So, don't get me wrong, if I actually could, like, if I actually had enough of following to do, like, a charity live stream, I would. I fully would. And I'd actually be good at it. So, <laughs> I'm just saying that it's like, these guys, they really suck at video games. So, I'm just tired of them basically saying that, like, one of the my favorite games that actually is a good game, that they're saying that it's terrible. No. You guys are just terrible at it. So, now I'm going to head on back to Merlin's place. So I'm going to put in the last page for Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to fix Pooh's brain. Because he's got Pooh brain at the moment. <laughs> Hang on, Pooh. Here I come. 
Okay, one of them just tried to use a shortcut that I actually resorted to using, but he clearly wasn't ready for it. He lucked out on it, and it should have killed him. He did not deserve to survive that, so... <laughs> Many strange weapons exist. Yeah, I've seen this one. Alright, hang on, Pooh. Here I come. Let's finally finish this off, and we're gonna close the book for good this time. Because I really don't know if Pooh is in Kingdom Hearts 2 or not, 3 or not. Behind you, Sora. The final page. By the way, like, I figured it out in Pooh in LT's live stream today, that the reason that Pooh is regaining his memories, it has nothing to do with you playing the games, it has everything to do with Pooh being caught in familiar situations. With Piglet, it's because Piglet was being blown away by the wind and then falling out of a tree. It jogged his memory from both the original many adventures of Winnie the Pooh and from the search for Christopher Robin. With Rabbit's house, it was basically because he got himself stuck in the in the tree in Rabbit's front door and his friends needed to pull him out. That's why he suddenly remembered it. And then, with Kanga and Rue's house, with Tigger, at the end, they all bounced on a trampoline, and that was basically reminiscent of the scene where Piglet gives up his house for to, to Owl after the Great Flood, so everybody like throws a hero party for both Pooh and Piglet, for, because they were basically being so brave and selfless, even though what Pooh did was actually accidental, what Piglet did was actually just succumb to peer pressure, so anyways, they all basically like took like these four corners of like this sheet and used it as a trampoline to fling them into the sky, so that's why that jogged Pooh's memory, and then here, I'm pretty sure that this was like meant to be a memory from like uh, when Rabbit tried to lose Tigger in the in the in the misty woods, and then basically like they ended up getting lost. So that's basically like, uh, well, you guys see what I'm saying. So with this memory, however, this is the memory of like where we last left Pooh in the first game, Pooh's friend, and Pooh wants to remember us. He just can't place. He just can't place us in his dreams. So, let's go get that bear's memory back. Oh wait, Pooh actually does remember us. I remember, he remembered Sora, so... What are we even doing here again? <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Let's finally close the book on Winnie the Pooh. And here's another thing that I'm irritated about these guys. They keep basically, like, getting these little spheres that are meant to level up your characters in the play, in the in the, each level. It makes your character stronger, and it gives you more points at the end of the level. And so they're just literally walking right past them. It's like, guys, you could easily get through this if you pick those up. You know how devastating your attacks can be when you're up against a whole lot of opponents? Get those things. Oh, bother. Pooh. <laughs> He's stuck in the honey pot. Are you all right? Sora, is that you? You see, I would have loved it if Pooh didn't remember Sora for this moment. Because then, this should have been the moment where he remembered Sora. And you guys want to know why? Because... It would be a reference to the search for Christopher Robin at the very end of the movie where Christopher Robin is found and Pooh is still stuck in that gorge. He basically is like thinking he's all alone until Christopher Robin lowers down a large honeypot to get him out of there. Pooh gets stuck in the honeypot. He gets himself out and then he sees Christopher Robin there, the friend that he's been searching for all this time. And they don't say anything. At least, like, Pooh doesn't say anything to him. They just hug each other. They're so relieved to see each other. And all Christopher Robin can say is, Silly old bear. <laughs> That's the quintessential Winnie the Pooh moment in my mind. It's just that loving embrace between two friends who have found each other. Help! Hey, there's Owl. There's a there's a puzzle piece over there. What's the treasure we're gonna okay. find? Hey, I still have Oathkeeper on. Cosmic Ring. 
tremendously increases AP. Le poisson, le poisson, he he he. Skill ring that brings me up to 85. Experts ring. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> That's going to one of the other boys. Maybe if I give. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out when I start doing the tournaments again, but... I think Decisive Pumpkin was the one that I was with at the moment. Because I actually looked it up. Apparently Decisive Pumpkin is a good tool to use if you want to beat Lark's scene, so... I need to fly for that. Because I can't imagine that Sora is going to get another jumping upgrade. If only he get Air Dash. Because I actually played some Birth by Sleep, like, before coming here, I was still, like, talking with, uh, Chaos and LT, and I decided I needed to play something, like, while we were talking, because they were basically doing their own stuff, so. It's not that we were having good conversation, too, I just wanted to basically have something to do with my hands, you know? I actually went through most of the Mirage Arena with, with Aqua, and it ended up being, like, easier than I thought it would be. Hey, Owl. How bad does it look? Ooh, this is the upteenth time I've seen Pooh like that. Sora, don't hold back. Go and grab that pot off of him. When Winnie the Pooh was stuck in the honey tree, his friends pulled and pulled until he came out. You can do whatever you want. I'm not touching another man's honey tree. <laughs> you can probably see the moon really well from here. <laughs> Jesus. Looks like Japan is getting flooded right now. <laughs> Wait, that moon is in England, so I wonder where the tides in Eng where that would where the moon coming in that close to England would affect. Probably Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Australia. Looks like another flood has hit Brisbane. Sora, is that you? Is that you, Sora? Help! Let's help him. Could he be eating honey? Let's leave him be. Help Pooh out of the honey pot. Press, tr tr press triangle to stop the power gauge and begin swinging. Press triangle while swinging to choose the direction to send the pot flying. We have to break him out of the pot. <laughs> oh my. I failed already? Great. <laughs> Chubby little cubby. Oh dang it. The power bar goes too fast. I need to get into the rhythm. Good thing I went back and did that friggin' ice cream thing again <laughs> from Birth by Sleep. I tried it with Aqua while I was actually talking with Chaos and LT, too, but <laughs> it was not good. This is the upteenth time I've seen Poo like that. <laughs> Seriously, the, the bear is a menace to himself. Ah, dang it, you don't have much time. Yeah, I get that I failed, but why do you have to restart the entire thing? Why can't you just start swinging again? Seriously, this is another unnecessary complication. Like, quit trying to arbitrarily extend the length of the game. This game has nearly gone on for 50 hours at this point. And I'm only just believing that I'm coming into the third act. Alright. Yay! Who's out of the honey pot? That was so, easy. What were you doing here? I was thinking, perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. <gasps> Pooh is sad that P Sora's not around. Oh, Sora really is the Christopher Robin. You mean a way to make me stay? Yes. Would there be such a thing as a way to make it so you don't go away again? Okay, Pooh's starting to sound a little bit creepy. 
And if you guys can hear anything in the background, I'm sorry about that. It's my new roommates. Apparently they don't understand that the rules that I sent out meant try if you're going try, try to keep the noise down because we can basically hear what you're doing to the to the walls. Don't worry. I promise I'll come back and visit you now and then. Could you make it now and now instead? Now well, and that seems a bit better to me. Sora, if I go looking for you, will I find you? I'd actually like it if Pooh went looking for him. I'll always be with you. Right here. You In don't have arteries. to go anywhere. <laughs> Just stay here, and you can see me anytime you want. You mean I just have to stay right here? Yep, that's all. Would you promise? Promise. I promise too. Piglet, how long have you been here? You ruined our intimate moment. <laughs> hey, Gopher. And so do Rue and I. We sure do. You're welcome to visit us anytime, Sora. Thanks. After all, I must tell you of my Uncle Albert's adventures at sea. Guess you'll be staying a while. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sora. Thanks, Gopher. If you ever get lonely, just start bouncing and think of your pal, Tigger. I will, Tigger. Hug. You're leaving? Yes. I really have to go. God damn it. Hug, damn it. Well, I won't be sad. Because you'll always be right here, forever and ever. Right, Sora? One thing you should know, no matter where I go, We'll always be together forever and ever. And all of you are right here, too. See ya. Don't forget me again. Cause seriously, going through that after Chain of Memories... <laughs> Sora... Closing the book... Thanks, Pooh. Silly old bear. Ori, how come? I never pictured it looking like that, though. I thought it would be just like a brick of strange colored metal. Always together. Forever and ever. Forever and ever is a very long time, Pooh. Forever isn't long at all. <laughs> when I'm with you, I want to be with you forever. And they'll be right here beside me forever. I'm not ashamed of it. I love that bear. Well, let's head on back to Pride to Pride Rock and basically like uh, transform into something even cuter. Man, I'm gonna have to kill like a lot of heartless and nobodies to start feeling tough again. Wow, it still looks crappy. Simba, what happened? Oh, 
miss you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. <laughs> Don't give me any of that higher stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. Hey, you guys are actually good at that. Like, stay within your friggin' boundaries. <laughs> Hell, the only reason that you're banished to the Outlands and the Elephant Graveyard is because you're friggin' overpopulated. Start eating, start eating some of the other ones and less and deplete and de <laughs> and cut down on the population. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Weak dead elephant, you see? That proves my theory. They created the elephant graveyard. Or at least, the elephant graveyard is the reason why they're overpopulated. It's kind of like a thing that's been observed in nature that sometimes when an elephant is dying of old age or sickness, it'll leave its herd so that it can die in isolation so as not to upset the other members of its herd. So it goes off to some secluded place and it dies there. So if enough elephants kept going to this secluded place to die, that would basically, that's how an elephant graveyard forms. However, with the hyenas in, in mind, basically like, uh, with them hanging around, with basically there being carcasses of really big animals like elephants just lying around, they can scavenge that, and hyenas have very powerful digestive systems. They're actually, like, better equipped to, like, dealing with, like, uh, old rotten meat, Let like, they don't have to worry about catching any diseases from it. So, basically, if they find a big friggin' rotten elephant carcass, that's good eating for, a, like, a long time. So if enough elephants start coming to this place to die, they could basically start eating excessively, and then they could start breeding accessory, excessively, and bam, you got an over, overpopulation problem. Like, you remember what I told you about how the friggin' hyenas in the movie, they basically, like, have, um, what was I going to say? They basically have at least, like, 150 uh, members during, like, the be, our, the be Prepared scene. I almost said Be Our Guest scene. <laughs> And how, like, they basically dwindled down to 130 by the climax? That's a p symptom of overpopulation. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> really? His father's name made you shiver. Why is it that you're laughing at him? <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba! 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 <laughs> That's enough! Go on then, see for yourself. Simba is one wishy washy king. Yeah, Amazing how Shenzi could say that with her tongue hanging out. <laughs> Bet about now, even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, I don't know, but this could be my opportunity to make a comeback. Oh, let's go find Simba and see. <laughs> nah, Sora wouldn't be like that. He wouldn't basically like be that callous because Simba is his friend, so. Use Team Blast to get it. Thank you. Heartless. Scar! So it was true. I heard a rumor about what this world would entail, but I didn't. Th I thought it was just Simba being paranoid, or the Heartless taking advantage of it. The Black and Lion gosh, lives. We better tell Simba about this. The Black Wonder Lion still haunts the Pride Lands. You know, I'm wondering. Scar became a Heartless. Does he have a nobody? His nobody's name is Zachers. Zachers. <laughs> Things may be better now with Simba here, but what this land really needs is a king like Mufasa. You can get to the Elephant Graveyard or Wildebeest Valley through the savanna. I wonder how long it will take before the beautiful scenery is restored. Oh, it's actually going to be a generational thing. Like, you think that basically, like, the movie had a happy ending? Not in nature. That's like magic right there. Did you see it too? 
Scar's ghost has appeared all over the place. Everyone's terrified something awful is going to happen. Rafiki. Rafiki, you're the king's shaman. Get out there and advise him. Simba is in the king's den, but you've seen the ghost too? Please go to him, seeing you may cheer him up. Collection, I know your father. Nala? Have you come to see Simba? We saw Scar's ghost. An omen like that could only be foretelling the end of the uh, end of our pride. Yet King Simba won't do a thing. Simba? I guess just being the son of the great Mufasa doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to rule the kingdom himself. Hey, give the kid a break. Trust me, Simba will think of something. The time for thinking has passed. We need him to take action. As his father would have done. He ruled with courage and pride. I remember it like it was yesterday. A mighty Mufasa. Simba will do that! Simba will do that too, you'll see. I thought that it was Donald for a second. I'm not so sure. Well then get out of our way and let's go. Wait here. I want to talk to Simba. So he's going in alone? Can I at least get a voice acted cutscene? Because I'm really tired of reading these things out. Yeah. Give the kid a break. He only just yeah. learned about like what it means to be king, but at when his father yeah. started teaching him, and then literally the very next day his uncle tried his uncle had his king his father killed, and so he didn't he didn't learn everything that he needed to. Simba. You came back. Of course I came back, okay? buddy. You don't look so good. Hey Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that scar ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it. So now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Simba, we're your friends. Sorry. It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. Wait a second, Simba. You literally can go out and talk to your father whenever you need to. One, you have a shaman who literally talks to the guy on a daily basis. And two, all you need to do is like go out and start talking to the stars. I'm pretty sure your father's going to reply. And that means the important thing is what you're going to do being the king. Not what your father would have done. So you're saying, it's all up to me? See? There you go. Hey, yep, yep, yep. Yep. hey! Your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today. And find your own path! Live for today and find my own path, not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. Nala. Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. <laughs> Kiara. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> We've only been gone hey, for a few gonna... days, man. You sure as heck got busy. I'm gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Uncle Pig Let's for go that. Let's see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. Hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna have myself a cookie. Ooh, I learned the running tackle ability. Do I have to equip that? What is this contraption? May I have it? The effect is most invigorating. That's my private and personal supply of oxygen, and you're not to touch it. 
Running Tackle. Unleashes rapid attack tackle on a single target while attacking during dash. Okay, moves rapidly while pressing down square. I don't think I got the chance to use that last time. Such simple work, it's practically obscene that I choose not to use my ink machine. Hey, Timon. He seems troubled by a lot of things when we lived in the Oasis. He's gotten so huge, but most of the important part of him never grew up. Yeah, without his father around, he didn't exactly know how to become a man or a king. I can relate. You know, basically when it comes to, like, Nala being pregnant, I should accurately probably say that it's probably a litter of, th of at least three. I should probably say Copa and Kion are included in there, but... Well, for the one thing, Copa is not technically canon. I recognize him as head canon just because I like a little darkness with my Disney movies. But Kion, I just don't recognize. The Lion Guard is an okay show for what it is, but I really think it had a lot of mistakes going with it. Rafiki is really wise! He may know what we should do! If you're ever in a bind, you should see what he has to say! Plus, I just like saying his name. Rafiki, Rafiki, Rafiki! <laughs> That's an actual quote from the Timon and Pumbaa TV series. Simba's thought the, Simba thought the world of his father. That's why he compares himself with Mufasa and feels so unsure. Nala really has the most beautiful blue eyes, doesn't she? Heartless! This feels like a good place to level up, to level grind. Man, I was just coming up here to do a joke about how everything the light touches makes everything look like crap. <laughs> Ooh, I'm level 45 now. Looks like I'll finally be able to take on the Titan Cup. Well, I don't see any point to this. Ho 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 ho! The king! Is he ready to begin? I think so. Can you tell us about Scar's ghost? Oh yes, the ghost. A being with no body, it is created when the evil heart of Scar meets the hesitating heart of Simba. So it's not like Ansem then. Hesitating? Oh, you thought you were not? Gorsh! That ghost sounds just like a Heartless. Okay, maybe it is like Ansem. Hmm, I don't know. You're right, you don't. But it, but do you know, but you do know it is upsetting. It is upsetting the hearts of everybody in the Pride Lands. You may not know what it is, but it still is. This world, it is full of many such things. And these things a king must face. It is the test that has been set for you, Simba. 
That's all? Come on! You have to tell us more about the ghost! No, not today. Sorry. But the hyenas in the eleven graveyard may know more. Does not matter though. There is little Simba of late can do. Aw, oh, don't say that. Not when he's ready to try. In his head perhaps, but what about his heart? Forget it, Sora. Let's head to the elephant graveyard. Scar's ghost. The ghost of the black lion. So that's Dash, huh? Hope this is the right way to the graveyard. Up, oh, I'm seeing some rib cages. Leave us alone! Well, considering that you tried to have Simba killed at least twice in his life, I'm not necessarily counting the climax. No, we're not going to leave you alone. In fact, you guys are lucky to still be breathing. The only reason that you guys probably are still alive is because you guys killed Scar. Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? Scar's ghost? <laughs> Ed knows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do know. Looks like we're gonna have to beat it out of them after we catch them. Yeah. Dang it, I had enough of basically like going after a trio of brats. Yeah, thanks for letting him get away, Simba. Yeah. That off, old Jeff. Hey. There goes another one. Man, they're fast. Simba, stick close to me. This is going to be tedious, isn't it? Actually, Donald, oh. I wonder if basically, like, if we give them some distance, we can activate the pause menu. Because Donald needs thunder for this. It seems to be the only thing capable of stopping them besides Magnet. Shenzi, I can tell. Gather! Gather! 
It's incredible how Sora can still use magic while running. Though, it's amazing that he can say the names of the spells while the Keyblade in his mouth. Yep, Shenzi's down. Now for the two dumb ones. Well, actually, that's not fair. Technically, all three of them are dumb. Shenzi is just the less dumb. <laughs> She's the lesser dumb. Yep, that's Bonsai. Now, where's the stupid one? Yes, there's a difference between being dumb and being stupid. <laughs> I gotta admit, though, sometimes Ed can probably be the most intimidating Disney villain ever. Because he doesn't say anything, and when you know that shit's about to go down, <laughs> he has a way of letting you know. Where are you going, Ed? Not funny, Ned. <laughs> there he goes. This is quite tedious. Get him, Donald. Slippery one, isn't he? I think that basically every single time they get out of sight, they teleport ahead a few feet. Awesome, I gained an accessory slot. Jackpot. about Scar's ghost. Sorry, we don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king? Why, you must be a truly inspiring leader by now. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah. Uh... That's Scar's special ability. He has a way of making Simba feel just like a cub again. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint anybody with spoilers, especially UK, but one thing that I really wish Once Upon a Time ended up doing was basically somehow working the Lion King into the narrative. I don't care if you have to turn the lions into human form, go ahead and do that, it would have been awesome. Simba, running away as always. Because this could have been a great narrative tool to use for that. Simba! I smell something in my apartment. I'm really hoping that it basically that's somebody's uh, vacuum cleaner overheating, because if it isn't, then that means that my roommates, who basically have agreed to not smoke indoors, are basically smoking indoors. And I'm not going to have that. <laughs> Gorge, Rafiki was right. You mean Simba still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. 
We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands. Where's Simba? Well, um... Oh ho ho! He ran away! I knew it would not be easy for him. To face his fears, he must go somewhere where the only thing to think of is what to do, not what others think of him. Why didn't you just say so? But where's Simba now? Holy crap, I think I just realized that in this form, Donald is wearing his regular his regular beret. And so is Goofy. Goofy's got his regular hat back. Hey, I know! He's at the Oasis! It's our favorite hangout! Got it. Let's go check it out. I'll lead the way! Oh, no you won't! Simba will smell you coming a mile away! And if he's smart, he'll run for the hills! Oh, right. <laughs> right, let's go, boys. If we end up having to do a battle like that... I'm gonna have to give Donald his, uh, thunder power back, because... Like, that seemed to be the only thing that could even slow the hyenas down. Flare Force? A limit command that unleashes... Oh, change is good. I can't wait to use that, Donald, so don't let me down. Thunder boost. Turn this off. And turn this on. Ha <laughs> ha! If you're looking for Simba, he probably went to the Oasis. He, it's quiet there, and the perfect place for thinking. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this the last time I was here, but the Timon and Pumba TV series introduced a rather interesting factoid about Timon. He, he has a last name. It's Berkowitz. <laughs> Wait, I did mention that. Dang it. <laughs> like, I have no idea why they decided to give him the name Berkowitz, I don't know, maybe it's like an inside joke, like, uh, cause Timon, like, actually does kind of, like, have a, a bit of a Jewish personality to him, a kind of Jewish flair, you know what I'm saying? Okay, th this is the same, I have a feeling that they're gonna say what they said before. Simba has something that Mufasa didn't. He must figure out this figure this out himself I'll be waiting for you Simba all of my all my old friends left me because of how I smell but now I have Timon and I'm living the life of Akuna Matata that's funny because like the Timon and Pumbaa TV show actually did their own version of how Timon and Pumbaa met and it's actually quite similar to how it went down in the Lion King one and a half and you again hey I'm not a Brady cat did his ghost just turn into that doggo? Anyway, it's really funny because, like, uh, they actually did a song about, like, why Timon and Pumbaa are outcasts, and it's like... <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, uh, it's set to, like, uh, the La Cucaracha song, almost, like, uh, and the Mexican hat dance, if you guys know what those are. Pumbaa's portion is hilarious. I've developed a strong reputation from a lotus asphyxiation, which has led to my alienation. I'm lonely, I'm sad, and I stink. Well, now that we're being so candid, I could say that I too have been branded. I'm banished, and here I am stranded. But buddy, you know what I think? The world out there can be so cruel and mean. But the you and I teaming up, cause one man is no island, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, Timon and Pumbaa, Timon and Pumbaa. That sort of has a catchy ring. Timon and Pumbaa, Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah. 
it sort of makes me want to sing. We could be lonely out here forever. Just thinking about it makes me sad. But it's a morning Pumba alone together. Somehow that doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> I just love Pumba's portion of the song. I'm lonely upside and I stink. <laughs> Jesus, Scar, will you give it up? But this is actually a good thing, and I like it. They could have used this idea for like uh, another Lion King sequel if they got the idea, because they certainly used it in the Lion Guard with Scar's ghost coming back to haunt the Pride Lands, except uh, they basically had to bring him back via volcano magic. And that was cool and all. It was interesting to see Scar like that, but it just kind of felt like he was restrained, like he couldn't do as much damage as he needed to. Because with Mufasa, he's basically as... He can basically be anywhere as long as the sky is expansive, you know what I'm saying? So basically, confining Scar to the volcano, it just limited his power that he could have had. God damn it, they are smoking. Oh great, a fully powered doggo with its head with a shaman monkey riding it. Wait, did I separate the doggo from its head? Donald, they're dead! You're attacking Goofy, did you not realize that? Seriously, duck. Are I supposed to have Drive Converter turned on? Do I have Drive Converter turned on? Or is that only for when Sora is a uh, human? Yep, I do. This would give me 4 AP, which would be nice, but... Yeah. Hate having to basically, like, go around having to collect these things. a boy, Goop. You keep him in the air. I could have sworn that I could do a reaction command with Goofy while he was in the air like that. They're dead, Donald. Quit wasting your magic. You need that to heal me with. Dispel? You mean Sora finally learned a way to deal with those friggin' shaman monkeys? I wonder if any new chests have popped up now that we're in the second phase. Nope, looks like it's all squared away. But, it doesn't look like I can get those puzzle pieces without the ability to fly. Wait, I can't fly in the, fl in the Pride Lands. Oh no. Simba! Father. Hmm, it seems even your daddy has abandoned you. How sad. Yeah, you don't see Kimba the White Lion with with daddy issues like this. Nah, he was just perfectly comfortable with wearing his father's skinned pelt as a disguise. I will repeat that. Kimba wears his father's dead corpse as a disguise. Hey, if Scar is here, then who's harassing Simba? You should have stayed dead, Scar.
find it so weird that Sora can do magic in this form. Feels like all of his spell commands should be more like GO HER! Rapid blow. Duck, save your batteries. It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. <laughs> I can't. Fine. The only way, the only real solution present is to move the pride here to the oasis until the pride lands, like, repopulate. Let's go, Sora. <laughs> yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. You guys are just gonna abandon him? <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. King Shamanagaka. Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! Try and stop me. I really hope that Simba wasn't that gullible, because, I mean, yeah, it's a clever ploy using reverse psychology like that, but, oh my god, I'm looking over at the stream of the guys playing that game and sucking at it. Like, one of them has such a commanding lead that he's definitely going to win the race, and the other, and one of them has literally just given up. He's just completely given up on, like, trying to make it, even though he is technically not in dead last. He's actually in third place, so he's just letting the other guy catch up with him. <coughs> did it! The ghost is gone! Is it? Because we've been basically, like, smacking it and whacking it every single time it shows up, and yet it still comes back. We knew you could do it! Hooray for Simba! You know, I'm really lucky to have friends who'll stand by me and help me see clearly. Yep, you just needed some sense knocked into you. You got the lumps to prove My it. My father wasn't so fortunate. But you know what? I'm actually glad, ahead. because, like, the guy that's basically, like, gonna finish first, he's gotten to such a difficult point in the game that he, he keeps dying over and over and over again. So hopefully he'll get a game over. I mean, everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Hmm. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. You all want what's best for me. But my father always had Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Simba! Timon? <laughs> What's going on? Simba, come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands! Bazillion? Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there, and now she needs your help! I have a feeling uh, that this is a scheme set on by the... Our little Simba, <laughs> all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. <laughs> I feel like this is somehow a scheme set on by the organization. But yeah, did I, know, did I mention that Scar has to have a nobody somewhere now? Like, did a lion pop up in Twilight Town? That'd be hilarious, right? Pumba, come on, you're Mr. Pig. Show him what you got. We're here. Where's Simba? <laughs> they bow. 
I've come back, Nala. Get out. And never Way return. to go, Simba! <laughs> they're all just... Nope, they're all gathering in one place! Are you with me? Now and forever, your majesty! What are we gonna do if that beast comes here? You gotta stop into the savannah, or this place will be destroyed! What beast? What are you talking about? It looks like something's riding on top of that monster. It couldn't be controlling it, could it? What monster? I don't see anything. I evacuated the others. Really? I thought that they abandoned you. Please, you have to win for Simba and our child. Well, glad to know I'm doing Simba's dirty work for him. Granted, I don't care. I like him. I'm glad to help him. He's a friend. Is that Scar's heartless form? Wait, it's just me and Simba? What about Donald and Goofy? Okay. I hope you're ready for this, King. I don't know how Simba could possibly wear a ring. Oh! I'm not doing this. I'm not controlling this. I'm on a rail. Ugh. Come on! Yes! What the heck is this thing? Some kind of dragon? Elephant? Whoa! A heartless Rafiki. And it's double headed because that emblem is upside down, see? Core is in the head of the Heartless. This is a pretty big friggin' Heartless. I think this is like the biggest thing that we've ever fought before. I mean, apart from Ansa. But this thing feels like it's one big, one solitary animal instead of the Elder's Abomination that uh, Ansem's final form was. Good thing its attacks are so pathetic, though. Jesus, how strong is this boy? Yep. All right, Rafiki, let's do this. Invisible? Yeah. 
You're not knocking me off that easy. It might look bad, but its attacks aren't actually doing all that much. Yes! Thundaga! I guess that means I can go back to, like, um, Atlantica again. <clears throat> that didn't look right. That looked like the heart came out of its, uh, yeah. <laughs> that did not look right. <laughs> Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba's courage, or the courage of those who fought beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? I don't. Not as long as the series is still profitable. No, but I think as long as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah. Uh. The struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never, ever? You'll have to die and pass it on to a successor one day, but your journey will indeed come to an end. The secret to victory is a strong heart. For a hero strength is go on, go on, go, go then. <laughs> go on, get out. Yes, yes. It is time your fight continues. Till we meet again, your majesty. I hope that's soon. Me too, quite frankly. It will be. So long. What's that supposed to mean, anyway? Rise. Oh, Yes! That's great. That is great right there. Return of the King. Amen to that, brother. Well, that was the Pride Lands and Winnie the Pooh. Two for the price of one. How long have I been playing? Uh-oh. What's going on over there? A new episode in Hollow Bastion was unlocked. Where am I supposed to go next? And a new episode for Atlantica. The final episode for Atlantica. So, hold on. Let me check how long I've been playing for. Because I stopped doing the timer. They base I wasn't get being given enough adequate time. You know what I'm saying? Come on. HDMI 1. I really need to get a second monitor for this. Yep, we're just over an hour, so we're going to cut this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share, like, and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with more Kingdom Hearts 2 coming your way in the future, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I'll catch you guys.